week oh, 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 oh week 10 is here super bowl preview just kidding it's thursday night football though carolina versus chicago we got bryce young coming into town the number one overall pick from this past year's draft uh and of course we got to worry about the man on the screen brian burns um we'll hop right into this presser with mr matt eberflus um oh it's not a press conference it's with our newly acquired wide receiver julio jones So, we're going to want to beat the Panthers and commit at least one less turnover than them and also get a turnover, it looks like. Now, we tried to sign these two the last episode, um, and I am recording this on the trade deadline, like, timing. So, Jalen Johnson did just request a trade, um, and is currently being shopped. Don't know if it'll happen. I don't really want to trade him away, because he is a very good player. Um, and I've tried to keep this realistic for the most part. So, we will see what I actually want to do with him, because obviously in this, we're past the trade deadline. Um... So I'm kind of just doing my own thing. I think we're going to offer Mooney a four-year. He doesn't really want to be on this team. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get Mooney back, to be honest. And I'm not going to franchise him because that's way too much money for a guy like him. Jalen Johnson, however, regardless of his trade offer in-game... We're going to try to keep him around, and we will. And he com completes that young secondary, um, and he's probably the best corner that we have right now on this team. So I'm not just going to let him walk out the door, but Julio Jones got injured, and he's out for a week with a PCL sprain. We currently have three receivers on this roster. Who's on our practice squad? Could bring up Devin Tompkins. Or is this Preston Williams? Puka Williams. And I believe this is Seth Williams. Yes. From Wake Forest, maybe? A couple years ago in the draft. I think. Oh, Auburn. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes. Um, we might have to activate one of these guys. And. Devin Tompkins actually is not bad. I think I'm going to elevate him to the active roster for this week um and we will demote no we probably need a line we probably need to keep a line i ain't gonna lie our o line depth has been very very bad all right fuck it we're gonna go we're gonna move Iceland to the practice squad and hope that it doesn't completely fuck us over. Um, but outside of that, I think we will hop right into this one. Um, not much has happened in the news. Uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry, though, is making it known that he is one of the best defensive players in this draft. So... Obviously, last week we saw that Drake May was done for the season, which does not help. But let's forget about all the draft talk for now. Thursday Night Football in Chicago. Let's get into it. We 
are in Chicago. Our team is invisible. <laughs> oh, there we are. Obviously, Thursday night, you know, it is associated with the color rush. Bears were in all blue tonight. Panthers in all white. Let's get this underway. And there is the latest number one overall pick in the 2023 NFL draft. Uh, they are sitting two and six, the Panthers. So not very different from what's happening in real life as Khalil Herbert somehow is back to return yet again. We will receive the kickoff to start this one. Johnny Hecker gets it underway on Thursday night. Herbert will take it out. Herbert's got a crease. Herbert, way to start the game up to the 31. And here comes Justin Fields. Had a poor, poor week last week. Um, the stats, they're not shown here. These are the season stats, obviously. But last week was very inefficient through like almost 30%, maybe maybe 40%, but that's really pushing it. Um, as we'll give to Foreman, who starts the night here. Deontay Foreman gets 13. So obviously, like I highlighted in the start of this episode, we are very limited at receiver tonight, so we've got to be careful here as we get it to Mooney. Mooney trying to shake a tackler. Gets tackled from behind, though, by Justin Houston and co. But obviously we had to bring up Devin Tompkins from the practice squad. We got Vilas Jones as a starting um, wide receiver tonight as we try to get it out quick to Mooney, but nice breakup. By Haynes there, somehow getting out there. We are still going to try to get this passing game going, however. And it's going to start with a nice pass out in the sh flat to Khalil Herbert, who gets injured. So, just like that, Roshan Johnson now into the game as... Basically RB1, and he somehow is gifted a first down. I'm going quick so they don't look at that because that was questionable. Felix Jones trying to juke Dante Jackson. Couldn't get around him, but gets seven on the RPO screen. Herbert, just a bruise. He should be fine. We will keep him in. Was nice to see Roshan Johnson get a carry, though in his short absence. Ooh, I thought the safety wasn't gonna go with him. And Nate Davis is down. So this is what I worried about. We moved, or had to move, a um, receiver to the practice squad in order to get Devin Tompkins up and elevated for this game. And now Nate Davis goes down. Larry Borum is our right guard for the foreseeable future. Unbelievable. As we'll go quick to Mooney. Cut it up. Field for five. We're going to go quick. No huddle. And a flag there. That's got to be offsides, no? I feel like I got hit immediately. I did, I wasn't even paying attention, but what the hell? We're keeping Nate Davis in. What was that? Oh, well, yeah. Maybe just a little bit. I was going to say, we literally had a free touchdown. Whether it was out to Herbert, Mooney and Moore were open to the left. That is insane. What the fuck? Did I really not realize that? Oh, they come with the blitz. The Panthers well-timed safety blitz. And it's third and goal. Pressure was there immediately. I don't know if that was Jeremy Chin. Or maybe if it was Xavier Woods coming down on the pressure. It could have been even both of them. I saw a couple guys from that secondary. 
Come on the blitz, we're gonna hand it to Herbert. Herbert is in! Touchdown and we take the early lead here on Thursday night. Khalil Herbert went out for a couple plays, but he responds with a touchdown and says, I'm still here. 7-0 Bears. So here comes Bryce Young, the rookie phenom, and there his his best man, Adam Thielen. But he is not the only man that can catch passes on this defense. We got to be on the lookout for guys like, well, there's one of them, Miles Sanders. Dangerous out of the backfield, but they got Hayden Hurst at tight end, Terrace Marshall, LaVisca Chenault I really like, um, even though he might not be a fan favorite of the Panthers. He is still a good receiver. He can create after the catch. And there's a huge hole for Miles Sanders who gets 16. The Panthers roll in here a little bit. This time Edwards meets. Two former Eagles meeting in the hole and Edwards wins that one this time. Great play from our star inside linebacker but kind of more off ball. Second and nine. Edwards and Sanders there again. So Sanders, four plays, four touches. Do they go to him here on third down? We're going to line up in man. They do go to him. I think we made the stop. TJ Edwards meets him again. And the Panthers are going to punt on fourth and one on our side of the field. And they actually do punt it away. Questionable decision from Frank Reich there, not trusting in his rookie QB. So regardless, we got the ball here. And that one, the pressure got there. Justin Fields hit as he threw, and we've got to make this pocket a little cleaner. Maybe start moving the pocket even. Maybe do some play actions of some sort. As we'll go short to commit on the tight end screen, and he gets eight, and Braxton Jones is down. Oh, my God, and he's in pain. He's on the cart, or not the cart, but immediately went down holding that right knee so our left tackle now is Larry Borum as Nate Davis came back as Herbert will fight through to get the first down but not good that could be a season ender the way he went down and was holding that I have not seen that animation are you serious that was all for a bruised knee Man, that better have been the worst Charlie horse of your life. Just gave me an absolute scare that we weren't going to have our starting left tackle the rest of this season. Herbert made his man miss. Herbert in the open field. Khalil Herbert is gone. Touchdown. On the wheel route, he absolutely burned. Who was that? Brian Burns in coverage. No way he's keeping up with Khalil Herbert. Poor defensive scheme. Perfect play call for us, though. For Brian Burns to be there, and then the safety shifting over the top, leaning towards DJ Moore's side. And we're up 14-0 quickly. What a way to open this Thursday night up. We have not taken control of a lot of games like this, but it definitely feels nice to do so. And that all comes back to haunt Frank Reich, who didn't want to go for it on fourth down. As we're back out here on defense. I formation, two tight ends, set. Tremaine Edmonds, what a play. We're feeling good. We're feeling like we can get to the quarterback. Sanborn, the extra man on the blitz. They go to Sanders on the angle route. Makes a juke and is up to the 43. Miles Sanders doing it all right now. 
for this Panthers squad. So TJ Edwards got the best of him a couple times. And yet again, only allowing one yard, meeting Miles Sanders right in that gap. Great play. Second and nine now. They've been in a lot of second and longs, the Panthers have. We'll see what they do here. They go quick out to the tight end. Hayden Hurst gets blown up. TJ Edwards is everywhere right now. We're going to move Ngakwe inside. And they're going to go shallow to Sanders. We miss the tackle with Eddie Jackson. Sanders gets the first down. Panthers, they're rolling a little bit now. Bryce Young making calls at the line. It's snapped. Go back to slants. Hayden Hurst open again. He gets nine. So we're going to have to bring our flats even further into the shallow here. As they've gotten a lot underneath so far, we'll switch this cover three. Put those outside corners on those shallow routes as Hurst beat us over the middle on a little shallow post. I thought it was going to be a slant. I missed red. Did not stay with my guy. That one's on me. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Bears domination so far. I'm loving it. Obviously now in the red zone, everything is condensed. We're going to bring the blitz. TJ Edwards... Free rusher, Eddie Jackson undercuts Miles Sanders, and it's a pick. The pressure got to Bryce Young. He tried to force it. No chance. Bear Jack is there. Eddie Jackson, what a play. We got two superstar safeties, man, and they are doing absolute wonders for us this season as Justin Fields gets the edge for 14. Justin Fields. This offense looks way, way different than it did just one week ago. And Panthers getting pressure here. We're going to have to throw that one away. Brian Burns, and I believe that was Derek Brown on the pressure. I could be wrong, though. That might have been uh, Haynes that time. So second down and long here. We're going to stick with the pass, and Herbert gets open on that angle route. Khalil Herbert, he has been money so far in this first half. Obviously had the big touchdown. He's got three catches, 97 yards for a touchdown, and don't forget he had the rushing touchdown as well. Our passing game is on fire. As Panthers bringing the pressure. We're going to take our deep shot, and that one's picked off. Maybe forcing it a little bit. Braxton Jones and Komet there to make the stop, but Vaughn Bell tracked it down beautifully. Thought Vilas Jones might have been able to outrun him. Not quite. As... They get him a, a nice five-yard gain on first down from Miles Sanders. We're actually going to switch into a Tampa 2. Confuse Bryce Young a little bit. Ooh, I believe that's Marshall. No. Is it? No, that's Jonathan Mingo, the rookie out of Ole Miss, who a lot of people had high expectations for. Hasn't done too much yet. In real life. Oh, I tried to go for it. <laughs> the pass breakup. Wasn't the best choice. Hayden Hurst is killing us right now. Bryce Young showing that that interception did not face him a bit. But this time he's sacked. Daquan Jones. The run stuffing D tackle has provided a spark in our pass rush. And I absolutely love it. 
Miles Sanders, though, with a big hole to the 29, and they're back into a more manageable third down now. At third and nine, Kendall Williamson making that tackle. And I do know I've been calling Kendall Williamson Kyle Williamson. I have no idea why it is Kendall Williamson, but as Panthers go with a screen, Miles Sanders making some jukes and making moves to get the first down. Juked me out of my shoes. I tried to, you know, break down and make a tackle on him, but just couldn't. This could be a stretch play here. It is not. Inside zone to the left is blown up again. We're playing some great defense right now. Second and 10, Young from the pocket. He will get it down to his receiver and they've got first and goal. High formation and Ian Tom's easy out route, that's six. Wow, so Bryce Young, what a response after throwing that brutal interception. Ian Thomas, pretty athletic tight end actually, who is, it's kind of crazy to say because he's a pretty big tight end as well, but moves well for his size and obviously right there it shows. So we kind of went away from the run game last drive, threw an interception. Um, so we'll try to get Khalil Herbert back going and he makes a joke. Khalil Herbert is absolutely on fire. Thursday night is Herbert Knight. My goodness. Obviously our last Thursday night game was against the Commanders. They got the best of us on that one. And we'll go short. Shallow crosser to Mooney for six. So Darnell Mooney involved here early as well today. He's up to three catches for 25 yards already. As we're distributing pretty well here tonight. And Brian Burns finally gets there. I probably had Mooney or Velas Jones. It just, for some reason, did not take it. For whatever reason. So third and long here. As the Panthers look to get back into this game before the two-minute warning. Mooney goes up to grab it on the crosser, and we get a huge first down. Darnell Mooney, that's why we're trying to sign that man back and get him to stay in Chicago for the long run. So first down here in Panthers territory. We're at the 38-yard line. Motion, Herbert, go quick. Two more. DJ Moore picked off by Dante Jackson. It was thrown a little bit behind, but I still expected Moore to catch it. Dante Jackson, the recovery speed, absolutely incredible right there. I mean, he is a really good corner, so it doesn't really surprise me, but I really thought Moore was going to make that play as uh, Mingo gets a solid gain of seven on first down. We're going to press up our guys and drop Tremaine Edmonds back. Oh, he's got a man. It's DJ Chark. Jalen Johnson got beat. The Panthers are a point after away from tying it up. So a tale of two quarters. Bryce Young on the run to his left throws a dart. DJ Chart goes for like 65 yards and a touchdown. Unreal. And after a hot, and I mean hot, start for us we are somehow tied with a minute and a half left in this first half oh my god oh my god what did i just do 
That was just mental error. I accidentally... Oh my god. I accidentally hit left bumper. And now the Panthers have a chance to go up in the first half. Are you fucking kidding me? That might be the most brain dead thing I have done in this franchise series to this point. How do I just accidentally hit that? Jaquan Brisker! Jaquan Brisker makes up for it! Oh, yeah! He had two picks last week. Got one here in the first half against the Panthers as well. Did he get the toes down? Oh, yeah, he did. Toe drag swag from Jaquan Brisker to make up for my mistake. Unbelievable. Call stands. And we miraculously have the ball from our own 25, and we might just want to run this one down. I'm not going to lie. What a turn of events. This has been in this first half. I mean, truly remarkable, as we'll just flip it out to the flat. Herbert makes a guy miss and gets three. Obviously, Panthers will take a timeout. They want the ball back. Try and find something quick. If we don't get the first down, stay in bounds. Mooney's open, though. He's going to get the first down. Darnell Mooney will go no huddle. Mooney making a ton of plays here in this first half. As DJ Moore is there for the big gain, and we'll take our first time out with 26 seconds left. There's our star receiver. We'll put him back on a post. I'm actually going to put Velas Jones on a streak here. Maybe that'll get Komet open. Reel that safety over. Fields, we're just going to take off. Burns is in coverage again on Herbert. They're really liking putting Burns in coverage in this game, surprisingly, when you have a rookie right tackle that he's going up against. Kind of an odd... You know, I guess game plan from them, but maybe they saw something on film that I didn't. First and 10 from the Panthers 21. Almost to the red zone. And that's why you bring Brian Burns. Fields, though, running around. I don't know who's who. Fields is somehow going to get to the five yard line. Penalty, though. And it's on Jeremy Chin. Unnecessary roughness. I wonder if they called it for a possible late hit. Maybe. We have two timeouts. Seven seconds left. We can run the ball here. And I think that is what we're going to do. And it's a perfect play call for the perfect defense. Khalil Herbert with his third touchdown of the half. Not of the game, of the half. He has been incredible to this point. We'll just squib this one and hope that five seconds runs off the clock to finally end this first half. And somehow only three. I swear that's hung on two seconds for like maybe two seconds um we'll play quarters coverage get our guys back and oh my god that was a dangerous throw to Hayden Hurst Kyler Gordon if he was a little bit closer that one's going for six but we finally get to halftime here what a wild first half so maybe some halftime adjustments. We got to make a lot more plays on this uh, short passing game of the Panthers because they're eating us up on yards after the catch. 
as Blackshear will take this one out. Elijah Hicks coming down with uh, Kendall Williamson to make that tackle. So let's try to play these flats a little bit more as they come out in the shotgun to start this second half. A little counter play. I don't know if that was dialed up or if Sanders just saw the hole and took it, but Tremaine Edmonds was ready for it. So second down and nine here. Young making audibles at the line as <laughs> Justin Jones now in for the sack, and it makes it third and 18. Our two run-stuffing D linemen have probably been our most productive pass rushers on this team and they go to Chark who gets 16 but can't get the remaining two yards and we hold the Panthers to a three and out to open this third quarter good response from this defense after outside of the interception a pretty forgettable second quarter I think we could definitely go to the run game more. Um, we're actually going to switch this stretch play to the left as there is no one over there. Dante Jackson gets shedded. Herbert gets a tough nine. Second and short, this is where you got to take your shot. It isn't there. Go short to Komet, who makes a nice grab on the inside shoulder. That one was close. I am not going to lie. Shaq Thompson was right there. Could have very easily been a pick six, like honestly. But first and 10 it is. We're going to go to the inside zone that has worked pretty nicely for us and get five. Fields very nicely managing this game outside of the two picks. Um, obviously, the one was probably his fault and the other he was just trying to make a play and get it up to Vilas Jones. And we get sacked. Xavier Woods in on the safety blitz, and he's letting us know, but Justin Fields is letting him know. Scoreboard, baby. We will go to the spread. It is looking like possible cover two, maybe cover four. We'll see if those safeties converge. If they don't and stay in cover two, Mooney should be wide open. And Mooney probably would have been wide open. Xavier Woods, though, nice coverage in man. So that was cover two man. Just good coverage on the outside. I was looking for him. I thought he was going to get open. Xavier Woods kind of ran into him a little bit. But it is what it is. Third and 14 is pretty unlikely to get regardless. So as Blackshear will catch it at the 10. And we get down there to stop him at the 20. So nice punt coverage from... The Bears there to stop him at the 20. Travis Gibson in for this play. We've seen a lot of Shaq Lawson out there today as Miles Sanders has a nice zone play and Edwards there again to make the tackle. Edwards might be up to 10 tackles already. Seven. I don't know how many assists he has, but... Go to the underneath coverage. Oh, and that leaves a huge hole for Miles Sanders, who shakes off Brisker, tackled by Stevenson, but not after about a 15-yard pickup. Great blocking on that play to get Sanders out against a safety who usually makes those tackles in Jaquan Brisker, but not that time. Sanders is a good back, though. He can make you miss in more than one ways. Edmonds that time... Patient on the gap discipline, and we will stuff Sanders after four. Switching up to Tampa two. And out in the flat again, this time feeling Bryce Young is dealing right now. First and ten now, and the Panthers are into our territory here. This time we play the run a little bit better. Still fall forward for uh, three yards there, but we got to make a stop here, man. Second and seven. Switching it at the line. They switch formations. 
Actually, they just flip it to the other side. Tremaine Edmonds was there. It's broken up, though, by Jaquan Brisker. Sitting in that zone up over the top. Crashed on it and crashed on it hard. DJ Chark is going to feel that one later. That was a big, big hit. Big third down. Johnson's going to crash. Couldn't get there in time. I'm going to have to just move these zones all the way down here. Panthers switching it up again. They'll flip the play and motion Sanders out to the left. And it was beautifully drawn up. Adam Thielen gets wide open on a little wide receiver wheel route from the slot. And here we go again. Panthers in the red zone. They give it to Sanders. Sanders gets three. So this game has turned into way more of a game than I'm, I originally thought it would be after the quick start that we had. We're going to switch it into man. Edmonds covering the middle of the field. Our pass rush is there. It, Bryce Young with the improvisation, though. Gets it to Hurst on the run right before he got hit. I believe it was Gibson and uh, and Gakwe that were after him. No, it was Daquan Jones. Again, an absolute duck of a ball. I mean, wobbling everywhere. TJ Edwards just couldn't stay with him. And pending this PAT, we are all tied up yet again. Pinero's kick is good, and just like that, it is 21-21. Herbert will receive the kick. We're going to take this one out, and maybe a bad decision. But we still get to the 23, so not horrible, I guess. Fields knows he's got to make a play to get this offense rolling. Oh, bad throw. Luckily, just broken up by Dante Jackson. I did not know he was going to crash back like that. That was beautifully played by the veteran corner out there. And we know he's got hops, so he can get up there as that one's blown up at the line, but Herbert fights for two. We're going to bring in Mooney a little bit closer. Or to the opposite side of the field. Oh, wait, no, that's Devin Tompkins out there. So Mooney out right now. Herbert's open on the angle route. Khalil Herbert jukes. Khalil Herbert shakes another tackler, and we're up to the Carolina 31. The pressure was on, but Fields making another play with his legs. Xavier Woods that time was after him. Unbelievable. Both quarterbacks making tons of plays here with their legs as Herbert tries to spin and gets five. And we will let this run down to the end of the third quarter and head in to the fourth. Fourth quarter here in Chicago. Thursday night football has cooked up to be a good one. Mooney on the nice little zig route gets a first down. Darnell Mooney, six catches for 72 yards tonight, has been super, super effective. Obviously, DJ Moore, this is his former team. And DJ Moore is actually open on the corner route. They brought the pressure. Safety came down. We saw it. DJ Moore easy. He beats press coverage. 99% of the time and you saw it there literally was talking about him perfect timing DJ Moore one-on-one -on -one, like I said against press and in one-on-one -on -one, he is going to win that 9 out of 10 times I, I can promise you that and you just saw it perfect proof of it literally like I said as we were talking about this is his former team and he gets him in a big, big way. Buddy Johnson can't make the tackle. Noah Sewell. Sewell. Holy hell. Noah Sewell makes the tackle. My God. 
Panthers back out on offense. They come out in eye formation. Bryce Young. Superstar development, actually. Didn't even realize that. I just didn't even run to the gap. Miles Sanders gets nine, but Austin Corbett is injured. I believe their starting guard goes down in a big spot in a tight fourth quarter matchup here. And Ngakwe gets there. The play action didn't work that time. Yannick Ngakwe is all over it. What a play. Finally, we got him back after an eight-week absence. I believe he had a broken hand or dislocated elbow, something like that. And there he is again on the run stop. So Ngakwe making his presence felt here in the fourth quarter. And we have a chance to basically put this thing away with a nice touchdown drive. As Jaquan Brisker just didn't block the gunner. And we might have lost a yard on that, honestly. So first and ten in a big spot. Eight and a half left to go in this fourth quarter. Nice tackle there. By, I believe that's Houston, um, veteran linebacker, and it was. So second down and nine here. Not where we want to be, but it is what it is. And Moore beat his guy again. DJ Moore can't hold on to that one, though. Dante Jackson with the recovery speed again. He has been all over the place. Covering DJ Moore, maybe knows a little bit of insight. As they were former teammates, win against each other in practice all the time. Oh, shit. Win for the big crosser to Vilas Jones again, and Jackson sat on it. Cover three zone. I didn't even process it. I tried to flatten it out, but obviously, as you can see, pressure was there. And that's INT number three on the night and that one might be the worst of them all so first down we got to make a play on defense again as quick slant Kyler Gordon though making the play I believe the third year man now out of Washington making some nice plays here this year for us As Edwards is there, another quick in route. That one to Adam Thielen. They tried to get it to Thielen on the uh, play before as well. Couldn't quite get it. We're going to cover the flats here. Jaquan Brisker couldn't get there. Adam Thielen gets a nice pick of about 20 to 25 yards on third down, and that is huge. First and 10 from the 27. Young hands it off to Sanders. Edmonds and Jones were there, though. Loss of one, and that's a TFL for our superstar inside linebacker. Second down now. Hands it off again to Sanders. This time he finds a gap, and Gawkway comes all the way around from the backfield to make that tackle from behind. Good hustle from Ngakwe so far. Liking what I'm seeing. I formation, quick pitch. Edmonds gets through it all. TFL, number two on the drive. Panthers obviously gonna go for it. Maybe not obviously, this is a huge, huge spot. Young, quick, to Hurst, and he gets it. Hayden Hurst on the quick tight end angle route. He has 91 yards tonight. Unreal. And that one's quick. That one's broken up. A fumble was called. I thought that might have been an incomplete pass. 
Second and goal from the nine. That actually backs him up like two yards. What a monster hit by Tremaine Edmonds. And this one is a play action. He goes to Ian Tom. No, that's not Ian Thomas. I am sorry. That was a left tackle or something that was had to have been called um, eligible. Cam Irving. The recipient of that pass. And this one to Hayden Hurst in the back of the end zone. I left it for the safety thinking Brisker was going to come over. I should have just stayed in front of it though. I kind of tailed off. So another INT ends up in a touchdown. The points off turnovers are a little bit skewed. And we came into this game with the goal to turn it over less than the Panthers, which I thought would be attainable. But I've thrown some bad balls. And we're now in a do or die situation. Four minute offense now. As we are just under four minutes. Herbert finds the gap. Cut it in back. Nice blocking from our O-line. I mean, they did get beat, but they were able to hold it once they got beat. And we pick up a first down, and we'll try to run this clock a little bit. DJ Moore motioning across to now Velas Jones, and Justin Houston read that the entire way. That was a really slow handoff. Second and 12 now, not where we want to be. Gonna try to find something quick, call in a shallow cross or a little mesh concept. Run this clock down again. Second and 12. Fields steps back. Fields finds Darnell Mooney on the shallow crosser and stays in bounds. We will run this one down to the two minute warning and call a play right before it, I think, actually gonna motion DJ Moore out hope he can get a block on that outside run it all the way down hard count Lewis gets the block Herbert stretch play and gets five two minute warning here in the fourth obviously we want a touchdown but we also just want to run out this clock Herbert gets the carry. Herbert is stuffed behind the line, loses two. For the Chicago Bears, minute and a half to go. And Mooney is wide open. The crosser over the middle. Darnell Mooney up to eight catches for 120 yards. Very, very nicely done. First down now. Stretch play. Komet with a nice block. Herbert gets eight. Obviously, Panthers called a timeout there. Second and two, though, from the eight. We still have a first down to get. Herbert gets that first down, stays in bounds. And they bring the run blitz. We'll be able to run this clock down all the way. Probably not the Thursday night game you expected. We can take our time here though. Give to Herbert. Not really looking to get in the end zone here. 30 seconds left. We can calmly send out our field goal unit. And Cairo Santos can go win this game for us. We will kick it or snap it with about three seconds. Santos, the snap, hold, good. Santos, kick, good. But there's a second left. So a little bit of a mistake on my part. We will squib it though, they have to return. And they will be tackled, Chuba Hubbard 
down at the 44, and the Bears are gonna walk away with another W, back to back for the second time this season. And this time on Thursday night, we are not the ones getting put away late. We get the win finally on prime time. What a game. That started off like I thought we were going to beat the hell out of them. And then we started making mistakes. Darnell Mooney, obviously, him and Herbert, players of the game. Mooney, or sorry, Herbert, two touchdowns on 18 carries, 88 yards, almost five a carry. But he also had five catches for 144 yards and a touchdown. Mooney had eight for 120. I mean, even in Gakwe, in Gakwe for us, two or a sack and a TFL, awesome game from him. Justin Jones and Daquan Jones up the middle, the two veterans. Very nice game. So we get to four and six. Panthers drop to two and seven after that win. And we're not actually looking too bad here. Obviously, some of you might be wanting the uh, the higher draft pick if you're a Bears fan. Um, but at the same time, we're trying to win games and build some chemistry. Um, we're going to have a lot of money to work with in the offseason. Um, but for now, we're still bottom of this division. We've lost to the Vikings. We've lost to the Packers. We have yet to play the Lions, but we will next week. That one is going to be tough. We will sim through week 10. And weekly awards, Khalil Herbert. Yes, sir. What a day he had. Obviously, Dante Jackson with those two interceptions. So both NFC players of the week come from that Thursday night game. Will Anderson coming along. He got two sacks for the Texans last week. But, yeah. Obviously, Fields had the two earlier this year. Which I don't actually know if he deserved one of them, but... That will be all for week 10. We get the win against, um, ooh, prospects. Actually, one second. We will look at this. Nate Wiggins climbing up draft boards for us. Obviously, the star corner out of Clemson could only help this young secondary, to be honest. Obviously, Kyler Gordon's been inconsistent. He has made some very nice plays for us. We will choose a focus player. Or three of them, I should say. Um, we will look into Harrison. We also will probably look into either... Maybe both Verse and Turner, actually. Or maybe go Olufashanu. I think we'll actually look into Olufashanu um, just to, like, look at a... Uh, what could be a left tackle of the future. Because Braxton Jones, I'm telling you right now, is not going to stop me from taking... Joe Alt or Olu Fashanu, who are at least look to be franchise tackles. As we will upgrade some players actually really quickly before we go. Javon Dexter with an upgrade. We will add to his pass rush. Kendall Williamson deserving, definitely. Travis Gibson with an upgrade. He goes up to a 75 overall. Obviously, his morale's down, so the overall should be about one higher. And then, of course, DJ Moore. Just an absolute guy. Superstar receiver. Now up to an 88 overall playmaker. He has been 
awesome for us this year. Taking the weight off of some of these other receivers and off of um, the O-line, helping out Justin Fields, definitely. But we are up to 4-6. and six. Next week, we will be at the 7-2 and two Detroit Lions. Um, it's going to be tough. No promises at all. Um, but that'll do it for this one. Was very nice to get back-to-back -back wins after a rough, rough stretch of losses. Um, but hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.